and we're going to be playing this awesome game in your own book yeah with a bunch of classic classic books as well so it's a classic yes. classic <laughs> themed one <laughs> basically you have a card like this I don't know if you can read that, I'm gonna try anyway. And it just gives you a prompt. So, for example, this one is lyrics from a country western song, and you flick through the book and you find something that matches that particular prompt. And we're actually gonna be using the timer this time and see how we go and see if that helps or just makes it 10 times worse. But we're gonna give it a go. <laughs> At least it will limit us flicking through it. <laughs> Topping us from just like three hours later being like, oh, we just read the book. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use Pride and Prejudice. I'll be using Persuasion. Because Jane Austen. Yeah. <laughs> Round one. Part of a love letter. We. <laughs> really tempting to just use the love letter that's in mine. <laughs> and time. <laughs> What's your one? It sounds kind of dodgy, but it's Mr. Elliot does not dislike his cousin, I fancy. Mm. A from a cousin, perhaps? <laughs> I mean, it is <laughs> Mine was what think you of books? I like it. That's, just, that's the whole letter. Like that's the whole this letter. will determine where this relationship goes. <laughs> Normally we vote, but it's a little bit harder when there's. It's hard when there's just two, two of us. Yeah. So I think we'll just be like. It's fun to just kind of do it. Yeah. yeah, it's fun to just kind of do it. <laughs> Round two. The title of a romance novel. Ooh. <laughs> Your cousin. <laughs> There's a theme. <laughs> Mine's a great while before he died, poor fella. That's dark. <laughs> Round three. The title of a self-help book. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> no, no. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Much may be done. I like that. <laughs> that seems like a really good title for a self-help book. <laughs> Mine was just, I can answer your question. I like it. <laughs> Round four. Something shouted at another driver in traffic. <laughs> what was yours? Can you deny that you have done it? Can you deny that you have to? <laughs> I shall not stop. <laughs> I like that one. I like that a lot. <laughs> Round five. The name of a superhero. Ooh, can I have to say Mr. Darcy? <laughs> Resolute character. Hmm. <laughs> Intriguing. <laughs> Mine is absolutely uncontrolled. Excellent. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm going to be doing Of Mice and Men. I'm doing... doing Gone with the Wind. But the first 200 pages. Because she hasn't because finished, I haven't finished, finished it yet. <laughs> Round six. <laughs> Words tattooed on somebody's body. Ooh. Stop licking us. Hmm. <laughs> Mine was, I don't want no ketchup. Okay. <laughs> Round seven. Something used as money in a post apocalyptic society. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, same. <laughs> What's yours? Mine's old ladies. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Mine was it's weed. Not. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Round eight. A line from an obituary. Mine was Jesus, what a trance. Oh. <laughs> That'd be so good. <laughs> What's yours? Mine's he died. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's an obituary. I was tempted to go with this one. It was like, um, I was buried alive. <laughs> a line from a movie review. And bored and nauseated. Don't want to go to that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was I don't see no reason for it. That is a good review. Well, not a good review. That's a very like, negative <laughs> <that's a bad laughs> review. Yeah. <laughs> I got no happy ones. <laughs> <laughs> a message in a bottle. Crazy bastard, you ain't fit to lick the boots of no rabbit. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's funny too because I almost, almost picked a line that said like, you aren't fit to lick his boots. Oh, almost. girl. <laughs> Must be a southern thing. <laughs> yeah. Your guilty secret is safe with me. I want to know what this guilty secret is. Mm, well, you want it because it's safe with me. <laughs> The final round. Final round. round. <laughs> Finish it. <laughs> round 11. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I think you just shout it. Blank. <laughs> Do you know? Yes. Well, it's about time. What's yours? Do yours first. <laughs> Spoiler alert. You ain't got no gun. <laughs> Spoiler alert, no balls until you're 14. That's what it says. Sex talk. No! no. <laughs> dancing balls! Okay, even I didn't think of the dancing balls. Like, like a ball! Like a ball. <laughs> and then the youngest like girl's mad because she's not allowed to go to the ball. Because she's Kicks. under 14 and you've got to be 14. To go. Well, her mum said she's got to be like 14 to go. Oh. I see. Well, that is the end of the Bring Your Own Book game. If I can find it somewhere, I will pop it in the description box, a link to it, if I find it. But it's kind of like <clears throat> a book version of Cards Against Humanity. Yes. So you're supposed to play with more people and vote on like the funniest or the yes. best. Yes. Or, yeah. And the I most feel like, clever. Yeah. I feel like with yeah. a lot more people, it's even funnier because they've got different books. Yes. Like, yeah. you know, we just used classics, but you can use like Harry Potter and you can use like, we used it with Fifty Shades of Grey before. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> that was but, good. Yes, it Harry Potter works, works well. Harry Potter works Harry Potter so works well. Really well. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for playing with me, Ashley. Thank you for playing with me. And tap. <laughs> and thank you for watching, everyone, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. What are you guys reading? <laughs> oh, you're not. <laughs> Playing a game. Yeah. Oh, a reading game. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. We could bring out the Samuel's other game. Taping it. Yes. Oh, did we just rip it? No. no. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. That's what Don't editing worry. is for. <laughs> oh no, it's got 16 seconds left. Oh no. Oh, no.